Okay. So, hey guys, it is Deity GG Ziphios here. I'm going to be doing some more build guides for the solo lane, except last time we went over mainly warriors and their options. This time we're going to be exploring guardians, because guardians are probably the second most viable role in the solo lane outside of warriors. So, first off we're just going to go down the list of what you can play in the solo lane. Athena. Athena's a decent solo laner, right? She needs to get ahead, but she can do very well. Where's Boots? I want tier 1 Boots. You want... Oh, what is it? 5, and then you'll want 3 Mana Pots. Okay, that's the standard star for every Guardian. That's just how it's going to be. Her core. Go Pen... No, I can't. It's not Pen Boots. <laughs> Forgot that's not the actual name. You want choose the Magi, or you can go choose a Focus. You can do either one. I prefer Pen Boots, just because I think it works better. But you can do CDR Boots, but Pen Boots will help you clear the wave. So I would recommend Pen. But if you're rotating a lot, CDR would do well. Um, afterwards, you can go into if you're against a Physical God, you can go Breastplate, or you can go Genji's. So it's pretty much the same as Warriors here. After that, you can go into Ethereal Staff. You can go Void Stone. Um, what else? If you're pub stomping, you can get Obsidian Shard. I'm not going to put it in there just because I don't really recommend it. You can go Poly. You can go Soul Reaver. Um, Dynasty Plate Helm. Any Cloak, really. And you can go, do I already have Bulwark? I do not. So this is pretty much your item pool, right? Pick and choose from these. Put them anywhere in your build depending on how well you're doing. If you're doing very well, you're, you're going to want to get more damage. So you're going to um, Polynomicon, you'll want Soul Reaver, you'll want Dynasty Plate Helm, uh, Void Stone, stuff like that. Otherwise, if you're behind, just build Tanky and you'll be fine. For abilities start with your uh, three you can you can then get your one because you'll need it for the clear then put another point to your three put a point to your two alt three three two usually I do two but you can do your one put a point to your ult whenever you can so there you go that's pretty much your abilities and what you're gonna be leveling on Athena Max your three, then either your one or your two, it doesn't really matter. And then you get your ultimate. That's pretty much it for Athena. Here's the items that you'll want to pick and choose from. Again, not in that order. Pretty much the only thing in order here is this, and then one of these two. After that, it's situational. Purely situational. Uh, Kabrakan. Kabrakan is a fun god for solo. I really like him, but I'm not good at him at all. So I've been working on my Kabrakan and going off of what other Kabrakan solos have been building and what I've seen and done well with. This is pretty much the start. You can do Purple Pot, but it delays your build. It doesn't help your clear that much, so I wouldn't recommend Purple Pot. But you'll want to get Pen Boots. Definitely always Pen Boots. Dynasty Plate Helm, and then you'll want Warlocks because it gives you a lot of effective health with uh, Dynasty Plate Helm. Then you can go Bulwark, or you can go Breastplate for the CDR and the protections. It really depends which either, or whoever you're laning against. If you're not really dying because you have Dynasty Plate Helm and Warlocks, then you can go um, Bulwark for, for the magical protection. Otherwise, you can get more physical protection if you're not rotating and you're staying in lane against another um, physical god. Whatever. It's your call. You can also go into Ethereal Staff. You can do Void Stone. And then if you're going Fat Loki build, which is like one shot, you'll want Polynomicon. You'll want Soul Reaver. <clears throat> and you can do Tahuti. Uh, then all of the Cloaks. Every single one. All of that. That's your general 
build. So the only things in order are this, 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 and then either bulwark or breastplate. You want to start with your two, one, and then you can either do your two or your three. I would recommend the two just because the three eats up your mana. Then max your, uh, or put a point into your one, get your ult, max your two, point into the one, ult, two, one, one, ult, three, 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 ult, three, three, ult. That's pretty much what you're going to, want to, going to want to max. Don't max your tremors because it'll just eat your mana in the early game. It's not worth it. Get your two. Uh, you'll need your one as well because tremors will still be eating your mana. Plus, it'll make your one do a shit ton of damage that no one will expect. Kraken does a lot of damage and no one really sees it coming, including me. So just watch out for that. Kumba. Pretty much the same thing as... um. What's his name? Kabraken. But we're gonna go through this anyway, just in case people are skipping around. And they see Kumba. One, two, five, three. Then you'll going you're going to want pen boots. You will want You can go warlocks. I don't really recommend it, so I'm gonna put down breastplate. And then either, yeah, it's either Breastplate or Genji's, either one. Then you can go for Voidstone. You can go for a Soul Reaver. You'll definitely want Soul Reaver somewhere in this build. Again, after this, everything is situational. So, that means you can get tankier. You can get more damage. Um... Wing blade, you can get what else? Plate helm. Mm hmm. Any of these. You guys know the drill. Everything is situational after the first few items. So back, exact same thing. Except for a couple things. And we will go be going over that. So standard start with pots, vanguard, and shoes. And then your core is going to be your pen boots. No. No, it's supposed to be an S. There we go. Pen boots. Then you'll want breastplate because you will be using up all of your mana to clear the wave pretty much. So you'll want to rush breastplate. Uh, you can go into... After that, you'll probably want... Probably Bulwark or Genji's, doesn't really matter. They want Bulwark. Dynasty Blade Home is good as well, but we put that earlier. <sighs> Sorry, it's like 5.40 in the morning. So, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it for power. You don't really want much more power. You can get Wing Blade. Defense. Any Cloak. And then you can go Pestilence as well is really good. You can go... You could do Warlocks. I don't recommend it. You could, though. You can do Midgard. You can do Mystical. You can do any of these also. General item pool right here, pretty much. Um, it can change, but that's your general pool. Start with your two. Or start with your three. Then get your two, put a point to your three, get your one, uh, ult, three, three, two, ult, three, two, two, ult, two, one, one, ult, one, one, ult. That's your leveling guide for Sobek. This is your item pool, which again is purely situational after these items, but Dynasty will go... If you're going against a physical, Dynasty will go before Breastplate. So don't get Breastplate and then Dynasty, because then it's not worth. Get Dynasty before. Um, that's pretty much it for your solo gods. These guys aren't really viable. Ymir, Ymir, okay. You can do Ymir solo, but it's it's way too risky. 
and I wouldn't say it's viable, in my opinion. Jesus, I can't believe I'm wearing this fucking shirt. I made this shirt in uh, my chemistry class. And it's the only thing I've cleaned, so... Whatever. Alright. That's it for the uh, Guardian builds. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.